Hello everyone, my name is the Radman, and we're just really quickly here to do some spraying. So, I realized uh, since the uh, cedar I was using last time, you know, isn't the only time you need to fertilize if you're playing with, you know, three fertilizer modes on, I should probably show you guys how to use the fertilizing mode. Which, surprise, surprise, it's pretty much identical, even though it doesn't need to be that mode. So we'll calculate that, get this one, and have it set to the right field would help. And I'll just do this one really quickly. If you want any more detail about how this stuff works, you can watch the video on seeding, because most of the uh, processor processes are almost identical. 15 grid fertilize, okay, uh, but anyway, so what we're just doing is we're just recording a course to get this thing some uh, fertilizer right now, and I'm not going to fuel it with any because I really want to know if this tanker I bought, which is like $60,000, and I'm actually, uh, me and a friend have a multiplayer world, and if it works out, I'm going to try and convince him that we need it on multiplayer, but I mean, if it if it doesn't work with course play, I don't know why we really use it. Okay, now we combine the two together. Pretty standard. There we go. And let's go from here. And drive. And where on... Oh, it, it already detected it's out. I forgot. Sometimes it'll just detect it that fast that it's out. And this thing has a very good turning radius, which is nice. Anyway, here's the moment of truth, guys. Will it detect this? Son of a gun, it did not. Um, okay, just to confirm... Uh, let's make sure it actually does refill correctly. Yeah, it does. Maybe I just wasn't close enough to it. Let's see if it... Oh, yeah, I was definitely close enough to it. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you guys know uh, the uh, this fertilizer storage mod and this fertilizer in cedar... I want to call it a combo mod, but I don't remember whether they're just by the same guy or whether they were in a pack. But now you guys know that, uh, you know, course play can be very finicky about what it will and won't uh, load and unload. But anyway, I'll just have it drive the course. And now, with this big of a sprayer, it'll literally only take it half a minute to uh, spray the field. But. Anyway, I just thought I would uh, show you guys this. Um, the process is pretty much the same. If you have, you know, just a tractor, please don't hit my machine shed with those booms. Uh, the, the process is pretty much the same if you just have, you know, a regular thing. Uh, just like a little sprayer on a tractor. It's pretty much the same as... It, it's, it's pretty much... Uh, seeding, just usually with a bigger uh, area of effect, and uh, it is it is pretty important to what on earth are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? You never started. You didn't start fertilizing. Well, this is odd. What is it doing? Well, I think I found a bug. Um, anyway, though, guys, uh, thank you for watching. My name is The Rad Man. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, in the next episode, we're going to be discussing the overloader mode um, for combines, and then we're going to be doing a big kind of finale thing as far as, you know, combining courses go. Uh, where we're going to combine field 5 with multiple combines at once. And uh, then all that's left, um, unless you guys can think of some others you want uh, me to show you, 
is uh, pretty much just, uh, you know, doing um, the uh, liquid manure transport mode, the shovel mode, and the new uh, silage compaction mode, which is going to take a while to set up. Um, oh, and I guess maybe I could show you guys how to use uh, course play for, like, grass baling or something, but it's pretty much just using the basic principles of setting up a normal field course just applied to a free form field. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. My name is the Radman, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!